All right, guys, so today we're going to go over RKC planks, show you the difference between a regular plank and an RKC, and also basically explain to you how we're going to apply it into the classes. So Kelly's going to come in. And first things first, we're going to align in a proper plank position. What we're going to use is the PVC pipe to show you what we're looking for. So we're looking for three points of contact, okay? T-spine, tailbone, head, all right? Now, if any of those points go up, push your butt up in there. We lose T-spine. Let's get back in a good alignment. Push your T-spine up in there. Oh, then we lose head. And then obviously if the head drops or goes up, we're going to lose that, okay? So she needs to maintain these three points of contact. From this position, the main difference from a regular plank that you can hold for, I don't know, three to five minutes, RKC planks we're going to do in 10 to 15 second bouts, and here's why. So she's going to ball up her fist as tight as she can, screw those shoulders into the floor, turn her quads on and butt on as tight as she can. You should feel like you're trying to crack a walnut between your butt cheeks. She's already starting to shake, okay? She's doing a good job of maintaining all her positions. Last thing, to amp this up even more, she's going to pull her elbows and toes towards each other, and now we're really going to focus on that breathing under this brace. We're going to go over this in way more detail in the classes. Just wanted to show you a quick example of the RKC plank. All right, see you guys.